What is going on, people? Back down East Worthing. Well, I say East Worthing, I don't know how long I'm going to stay down here for. Got the old push bike with me. Because of this, look at that. Right in front of the petrol station, run out of petrol everywhere. A27 is closed as well, and you can't move anywhere. So, yeah, thought I'd go out and bike, try and find some hot spots so you can find some bass and things. Um, looks a tiny bit weedy down here, but high tide is another three hours away, so plenty of time to cycle around, find some fish. Just stopped raining, so I'm happy and slightly a hangover, so a bit of fresh air will do some good. Just need to find some fish now. Okay, I'm gonna start off with Mr. Glide there. So you can see there's definitely weeds in the water just along here. You can see previous tide lines, bits of weed, a bit more over there. So that's why I'm going straight in with the surface. Hopefully just trying to avoid the weed a bit. Um, no sign of activities. Looks like it could be a, a warship or two out here. But yeah, time to get fishing I think. Okay, we've got a friend who's just joined us. There he is. We're watching. See if he comes down. There you go, he goes down. See if he comes up with anything. Another good sign to see if there's any fish about. I'm guessing he's going to come up probably about here somewhere. There he is. No, I didn't see him anything that time. Back down again. There's a good sign it, it is there and there must be still fish about. Where's he gonna come up this time, eh guys? There's a groin just there, there he is, back over there. No, no fish were in that time either, but yeah, it's another sign to look out for. Okay, I'm getting this on most cars. Loads of weed. So I think time to head further east over there towards Shoreham and see if we can find a weed free patch. Look at this guys. Crazy. All over bind. Bloody petrol. <laughs> I bet all these people have really still got toilet roll in the bloom back of the cars from last year. Look at it, there's just no need for it. But yeah, onwards towards the planting. Okay, I've gone down the west end of Wild Water. I think I'm going to head down to this beach here. Got a few gulls and stuff flying around, so hopefully that's a sign. Doesn't look too weedy. Got a few gulls a bit further out just sitting in the water. So yeah, let's give this beach a go. Alright guys, it's time to match the lure to the bait. This is what's getting washed up, all these little splats. You can see how similar the lure is, same sort of size, same sort of eye. And that's what the fish will be feeding on. Um, bound to be mackerel about. Just have my feet here, just more and more slowly getting washed up on the tides. So before you know it, there's probably loads of these washing up. And the shoals of mackerel be coming in behind, feeding on these little splats. First fish. Whee! <laughs> there must be thousands of them out there because to catch one of those on a lure is crazy. But hopefully this one will go back and live for a couple of days at least. But then you can see there's a faint little, I thought it was a weed line, just along there. Um, so a few little fish jumping out, but I think it's just all sprats. So there should be fish behind that. There you go, another one. Um, did just see a little eruption in the water, literally straight out of the line my rod there. So there must be some mackerel pushing them up. There you go, people. Sussex tuna. <laughs> Don't really want to catch any mackerel. I try and unhook them and chuck them back without um, touching it. I don't know that's um, true, but apparently if you touch back with your hands, it can kill them. Um, they don't go back properly. 
but unfortunately I want to try and catch some bass so this one's going back fish on people I expect this is another mackerel oh give me a nice little bend there feels like a mackerel but we might be in for a surprise see we have a little um, white bait getting washed up now in numbers just gonna get this one in sort of filming on one hand um, don't think I've got my GoPro with me I'll have a look in a second but I have I'll start filming with that as suspected another mackerel might have to um, times like this I think I'm going to start trying out some different lures all the lures I haven't got confidence with use them and see what we can catch um, seems like there's going to be plenty of fish around to catch today so it'd be silly not to um, experiment and see what lures work and which don't guys I've just seen a dolphin right where those skulls are I think it's a dolphin just saw it corner of my eye it came straight out of the water looked quite big though It was sort of straight along my rod there. Hopefully it makes appearance again or comes this way, it'd be awesome. Where did he go? I think I'm either seeing things, I'm sure I've just seen them again. Just to my left this time. I'd love to catch you on camera for you. I, only, I saw them last year, um, there was about three or four of them last year, but this one was really close in, I only just saw the one, but you know I had my beach casting gear, I was literally, I could probably cast it, that's how close in it was in, probably 100, 150 yards out, it wasn't far out at all. Keep my eyes peeled for you guys, if I spot it again I'm going to be straight on it. I was focusing too much on um, trying to find that dolphin for you but this is the latest lure another shore jig uh, a bit smaller this time um, not too sure how much it weighs but I've just had a couple of mackerel on this um, didn't bother recording it but I think I might move locations the, the shoals moving along now um, a lot more gulls that way so I might head towards shore him. But I know it's um, uh, no fishing zones at the moment, women know me. So we might have to go a bit further on past the girls. I think that's the direction I'm going to head, so. So time to jump back on my trusty bike and head east. Okay, just a cycling along. Not far, just in front of wide water now. I know it's a little shoal just in front of me here. Um, keeps them pop up, popping up now and again. It's quite weedy, just that section there. But let's see if we can pull a few out of here. Straight for the show again. A little splat there. Some good action going on there behind that weed line. Hopefully you can see it. And um, did see just a nice bass jump up as well. So let's see if we can find a bass. There you go. Another one of Sussex torpedoes. Some action going on over there. Just by the rocks. Loads of them about today. Quite late on this year. Normally it's sort of August at the time. But yeah, September. End of September. Just gonna unhook this one without it um, without my hand, so I'll just try and flip it around on the hook and let it go back in. Try not to touch them, let it go back. Um, yeah, I think I might move on in a second and try and find another spot. Well, guys, big shell mackerel over here. Right, excuse the helicopter flying over. Every now and again, you see the water just erupts. There you go. Look at that. Hundreds of them. And this is where I wouldn't be surprised if you see the old dolphins again. But look at that, that's just crazy. It was like this Danny Swerving the other day, just thousands of them about. But let's get down there and let's catch a few. So who wants mackerel? Look at that. But they probably erupt any second again. 
Look at all these little shells just down there. Those are the big ones there. Look, look at that. What a sight. How many seconds do I catch fish? This guy. Look about the size of cool. Every chuck. That one just came off, just my hook there. I didn't drop it there. But it should swim back, hopefully. Hopefully this next decent wave, we should take it out. There he goes. Nice stamp size mackerel there. Probably just over 30 centimetres or so, so nice eating size. But I'll try and get this one back again as well. Fish a chuck at the moment. So easy to catch them. Great fun on a light mod. See how much that's spending. And that's just one mackerel. When you're fishing mackerel feathers, uh, feathers having like five on it ago. Oh, sorry mate. You can see how many, um, you see how much the rod will bend and how much of the scrap you get. There you go. Another lure to tick off the list. I'd say it's a very good time to get your confidence up using different lures here. I think the shell is coming back this way. So let's hold out for a bit longer. Look at that guys, just had two mackerel on one lure. I've just both shaken for three again. But that's how many mackerel are, I've taken front and back hooks. Just crazy. I think it'd be rude we don't catch any fish on Mr. Glide today, so let's get a couple of mackerel on the glide. There you go, there's one on Mr. Glide. Hundreds of them back again. It's crazy. Time to try another lure, I think. Time to try this saltwater super spook. Big old lure, this one. So let's see how greedy they really are. So I actually think this guy is a bit big for the old mackerel. Didn't have any hiccups. So that's good to know, I guess, if you want to try and just only hit bass and you know there's bass around and turn your mackerel, go for this look. See the old shells again, watching towards um, Shaw Marm over there. But I'm going to head back down towards Whitewater Way and back towards East Worthing. And so I head my way home, but if I see anything on the way home, I'm going to jump back out there and see what other lures we can use to catch some mackerel. Come down towards Lansing, um, just near the sailing club. Been down there about 15 minutes. Sort of been following this bit of water here. I think it's a big shoal of bait fish. A bit hard to tell when it's flat and calm and the waves are like this. But it's gone very quiet. I don't know if seen any life around here. There's no washed up fish or anything like that. There is. Traffic's still here. I mean, gone three and a half hours and it's still packed. Crazy. Okay, back down this river now. The sea is really flattened out. Lots of gulls, like, but really far out. About like three, four hundred yards out. So I don't know, the mackerel shoals are going up far, far, they're just chilling in the sun. But I'm just going to have a few more chucks here. And then um, probably call it a day. Probably rude, I don't come back to the beach where I first started. Just in front of the fetch station here. Bit of a shoal of bait fish just in front of me. Catching every, um, every car from the So let's try and find one last mackerel before going out a day. There you go guys, one last mackerel at the place where I first started off trying to find mackerel and bass. Not a, bad, not a bad day really, can't complain whatsoever. Hangover's gone, sun's come out and been catching fish all day. So some great sights, so really happy. Probably the last sort of time you're going to catch mackerel, I think the weather's changing uh, next week. More rain and wind, so all the clear water will go and the mac will probably go deep again. But yeah, I'm going to try and get out again, um, just work work through the annoying laptop crashing every five minutes, but we'll get there. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you very soon.
Thanks for watching, guys.